Hello everyone, so I am Mother Susan Raj, your host, and as I promised in my last video blog, you know, I am uh, back in front of you to discuss the RBI's recently announced uh, quarterly credit and monetary policy review. And uh, I have to tell you quite a, uh, quite a few things because uh, whatever RBI did uh, last Tuesday, it is going to have a big impact on the Indian economy and Indian economy means 1.22 billion people of this country and uh, I will you know discuss those you know um, uh, uh, policy you know matters in a while but uh, before uh, RBI officials governor uh, announced the credit and monetary policy review on 29 January on 25th January he met with the finance minister P. Chidambaram and uh, what Mr. Governor is saying, he's saying that our next quarterly review policy uh, is scheduled for Tuesday as per standard practice. I have come to review macroeconomic situation with the finance minister, Dr. Subara told reporters. Now, uh, there is this kind of notion amongst the uh, public and uh, mainstream economists also they they tell us that uh, uh, the functioning of central bank is independent of any kind of political interference you know uh, people you know talk about central banks autonomy and their uh, independence from any kind of political interference but now uh, it is all you know a myth it is all it is all hoax right rbi and, and and all other central bankers are not at all independent from the government's interference in fact the reason why they exist is because to fill in the gap the budget gap of every government right because government likes to you know spend a lot of money and for doing that they require endless amount of resources and because they cannot, you know, uh, gather those resources from the public via direct taxation and borrowing, so that's why they they resort to this kind of stealth taxation, that is money printing, inflation, and for that they are, you know, they they created uh, the central bank, and that is also beneficial for the fraud banking industry. So in cahoots with the banking industry, government is uh, working uh, and uh, they create a central bank for that purpose only so this whole notion that the that the central bank is uh, independent and rbi is autonomous is all myth and this you know meeting of finance minister and the central bank government is nothing but the illustration of this myth you know if rbi is independent then they don't need to go and the governor don't need to <coughs> uh, go and meet finance minister I'm sure what they must have discussed is that the situation of this so-called economic growth is becoming very uh, kind of uh, dangerous in the sense it's decelerating. So that's why there was a lot of pressure on RBI's governor to decrease the uh, interest rate, market interest rate, bank rate and CRR and basically resort to easy monetary policy, you know, what they call, you know, release more liquidity into the market not only government was clamoring for lower interest rate but the business people were also making a lot of noise about reducing the market interest rate because a uh, <clears throat> little bit increase in the interest rate was hurting them pretty badly uh, but you know as expected i was telling in my past blogs also that I, as expected in first you know month of january of 2013 they did go ahead and reduce the market interest rate so after this 25th this, you know january meeting with the finance minister on 29 january <coughs> in their credit and monetary policy review rbi did reduce the repo rate the rate at which the banks are going to borrow from the uh, central bank from the reserve bank of india so they reduced the repo rate by 25 basis point not only that they surprised the uh, market you know mostly mainstream economists who were forecasting this you know reduction in uh, repo rate but they also went ahead and reduced the credit reserve ratio the crr by 25 basis point right so that really surprised everybody and uh, crr was uh, something like um, uh, four point five percent or something like that now it has come down to four point twenty five or something like that basically twenty five uh, basis point cut in uh, repo rate as well as CRR so by cutting the CRR itself they release 
18,000 crore rupees into the market and uh, with this um, you know this policy major RBI governor is saying <coughs> uh, many people are saying that this is this reduction in interest rate is first in last nine months and everybody is hailing this as some kind of great thing but uh, we need to understand what uh, RBI governor is actually saying and what he is doing and first thing is this 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 reduction in market interest rate and the CRR is nothing but pure inflation. They are just creating money out of thin air. They are just inflating the you know money supply and depreciating the fiat paper currency rupee. So the value purchasing power of rupee is uh, further going to you know it actually already declined when they you know they announced these measures. So this is inflation and one of the effects of inflation will be higher prices of everything in future. And with that, as I said, rich will become richer, uh, those who are going to get this freshly printed money in the first place. And this is also going to continue, this is also going to continue the real estate and auto sector bubble that is going on, that is building up in the Indian economy, right, in past. This is just going to make it much more bigger, it is just going to prolong it. And as I'm saying since quite a long time that this bubble will bust in future. And the bigger they you know blow this bubble, the final bust will be spectacular. It's gonna be very painful for all of us. Now we are into you know kind of very kind of danger zone because this inflation is obviously going to get out of their hand now. But you know, let's see what RBI governor is saying. He's saying that his more you know his biggest concern still is inflation. He's saying by the RBI's own admission, inflation remains one of the key threats to its macroeconomic management going ahead. <laughs> so this is ridiculous on one side, it is saying that inflation is one of uh, his major concern and on the other side he is creating inflation by, by reducing repo rate and by reducing the CRR and releasing 18,000 crore rupees into the economy. He is creating inflation, increasing the you know money supply and credit out of thin there is inflation, right? Price rise is one of the effect of inflation. So as I am saying since quite a long time, don't look at what RBI governor is saying and what this policy maker is saying. Look at what they are actually doing, look at their actions, analyze their actions and their actions are exactly opposite to what they are saying. It's absolutely contradictory to what statements they are making into the public right into the media. He is also saying that in the absence of an effective supply response, inflationary pressures may return and persist with adverse implications for macroeconomic stability. And as I said, you know, because their target is, you know, price and they think that price rise is inflation, so he is, you know, eyeing some kind of supply side, you know, measures which can increase the production and reduce the prices and hide his inflationary theft, right? But we have to understand over here is this that suppose there is rise in production, right? Then in the absence of this, you know, a gigantic amount of money supply which has been created by RBI out of thin air, in absence of that, the prices will actually fall and in reduction and then in this fall in prices will actually increase the real income of the commoners of this country, the common man, right? And and that will increase, you know, their standard of living. That will increase their real well, that is actual growth, right? Price stability is a chimera, you know, it's a chimerical policy, it's some it's complete myth, it's hoax, right? It's wrong, you know. We don't want price stable, right? So, you know, we don't want price stability, we don't want stable prices. What we want is redu reduce prices, lower prices, right? Going ahead in the future. So this this uh, inflation is going to hide whatever productivity gains we are going to have in future. But they will say that look, you know, we stabilize the price and you know, our policies are successful. But that's not going to happen. It is hiding the productivity gains, and it is basically they are stealing the productivity gains from people, right? Whatever lower prices will be there in future, it will no longer be there because of this kind of inflationary policies. So they are, they are. This is nothing but inflationary theft, and they are just looting the public by saying all this thing. And obviously, the industry is very happy. Right, and uh, they are hailing this as a, some kind of you know good step. Uh, RBI governor also said quite a few other things, uh, which I want to just analyze pretty quickly over here. He said that with so with inflation moderating, well, inflation is not at all moderating, <laughs> Mr. Subharao. Inflation is 
pretty much high, right? Whatever numbers you are giving us, they are all phony, right? Uh, and uh, current account deficit moderating further, there will be more room for monetary policy easing. That's not going to happen. Current account deficit is going to widen simply because you are inflating the currency in the first place. This inflation itself will result into wider current account deficit, right? I'm sure because all, all world country governments are, you know, into this currency debasement race, I don't think so this is going to have any kind of impact on uh, exports, right? Because the world is in recession right now, so it is very unlikely that the current account deficit will go down. But if you go along the currently expected lines, the space for monetary easing is quite limited. There is no, you know, RBA is trapped right now. They have painted themselves in the corner. You know, if they don't reduce the interest rate, then Indian economy will collapse. Whatever bubble they have created in real estate sector, in infrastructure, in auto market, and in other areas, those, you know, male investment is an unsustainable, you know, uh, this whole process, you know, economic, whatever growth they are talking about, will stop and actually economy will go through a real painful time of correction that is actually required. Uh, and after that, it will, you know, assume it's, you know, I know, uh, go back onto its normal, you know, normal path. But these people are not going to allow that. So what is going to happen is, obviously, in future, we are going to face more problem. And, you know, as I said, they are trapped right now. So if, if they, if they don't reduce, then that's what is going to happen. And if they reduce, and that's going to result into more inflation and possible, you know, crack a boom kind of situation where the whole monetary system will actually collapse. So the possibilities are rising with this easy money, po you know, money policies of RBI, right? As long as they prolong this boom, this artificial boom, as I said in the beginning, the bust will be spectacular later on. So we have to watch out for that. And with this uh, reduction in uh, repo rate and CRR rate, uh, all the banks are also now ready to cut their uh, lending rate. And before that, the planning commission uh, uh, deputy uh, governor, he said that, De deputy chairman Ahuluwalia, he said that RBI's rate cut will help investment. <laughs> That's a joke. Printing money is not investment, Mr. Ahuluwalia, right? Investment comes from real saving, right? You produce something first and you save something out of it. And out of that saving, that real saving investment comes into existence. And out of that, you accumulate capital and that will generate future economic growth. Printing printing money, you know, manipulating the market interest rate artificially by printing money is not investment. So these people just simply don't understand how economy functions and, and they're all Keynesians and all and they think that printing money is saving, but it is actually not. But as I say, uh, Indian, uh, Indian, uh, Indian companies are very happy. India incorporated happy about RBI rate cut. The, uh, president of Fikki, Nina, Naina Lal Kidwai, he said that, uh, 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 India incorporated today hailed the Reserve Bank of India's move to reduce repo rate and CRR by a quarter percent, saying it will spur growth and is the prevailing tight liquidity condition. It is not going to spur growth, right? The way in which you calculate growth, price rise, is not real growth. It is not going to result into any kind of concrete, you know, increase in the standard of living of common people. Only these people who are well connected with the government, rich people, they are going to benefit out of these fascist policies. Fikki President Naina Lal Kidwai said this will hopefully help in reversing the anemic industrial growth observed over the last year. In fact, high borrowing under the liquidity adjustment facility window seen in the recent past clearly reflected the tight liquidity situation. The CRR cut of 25 basis points would help release 80,000 crore, thereby easing the funds flow situation. You know, this whole talk about you know tight liquidity situation is again, again kind of very myopic view of all these industry people. Whatever you know, supply of money is available in the economy is optimum for carrying out the day-to-day -day market action function. You know what will happen is uh, uh, money's you know purchasing power will go up and down according to the demand and supply situation. You don't need more money, right? Whatever money we have is optimum, is enough for doing money function of doing you know as you know to work as a common medium of exchange. So these people are. I know wrong and they are thinking that it's going to result into higher growth but it is not it is just prolonging the 
bubble and bubble will bust so we are trapped inside a business cycle now and in future we are going to see all this pain it is a positive step which will infuse liquidity and help in catalyzing growth you know industry minister anand sarma said anand sarma is wrong naina nal kidwai is wrong these people don't understand this business cycle theory austrian business cycle theory uh, but as i said immediately after the reduction of this repo rate <coughs> uh, different banks they started uh, reducing the lending rate so uh, for example uh, rbs uh, the royal bank of scotland they reduced 75 basis point cut uh, in their lending rate so it is now 9 from 9.75 IDBI bank also cut its lending rate uh then uh, uh state bank of india uh hdfc bank cuts auto loan rates by up to 0.5% uh and uh, just today state bank of india also announced that they are going to cut their base rate by 5 basis points so the base rate now stands at 9.7% and will be effective from february 4 so all these banks are uh reducing the lending rate especially for the real estate sector and the auto sector and i'm telling you you know since quite long time now that these are the two sector where the bubble is building up a pretty huge one right real estate infrastructure and auto sector and this bubble will pop in the end because this you know lower interest rate manipulated lower interest rate cannot remain low for a very long period of time it will have to go up in the future and when it will go up this bubble will burst and the real you know big recession and probably big depression will start and that is going to create a lot of pain for all of us right uh not only that you know many people are saying for example cnbc was running this article and it was saying that consumer uh should be very happy now because you know banks are using their rates right but i i i think that uh, consumer should be very 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 cautious right now they should not start borrowing you know borrowing and spending you know is not the right kind of lifestyle right you should be spending whatever you are already earning out of your income and not by borrowing too much of leveraging too much of that is always going to create a lot of pr- trouble in future because you know uh, people are going to borrow money to buy new home right now the price are very high right maybe the you know the lending rates are low right now but in future it will go up and when they will go up many of these home buyers are going to be under water right you know the home, the price of their you know uh, home will be uh, less than whatever the mortgage is right so they will be under water like it is already happening in america it, it it already happened in spain and in other european countries where the real estate bubble pop so consumer should be very careful right now because this rate cuts are artificial and manipulated and it can really misguide you so instead of becoming very happy we should be very cautious we should not get into this trap right we should continue to save because saving is what is going to help us when the financial system is going to collapse when the economic system is going to collapse when the monetary system world monetary system is going to collapse in future if you're going to take you know a borrow a lot of money then you will surely be in lot of pain in future all right and um, last but not least <clears throat> there was this uh, news that uh, RBI retrades demand for strong and effective supply side response so RBI is not interested in you know stopping their printing they they just keep on telling us that inflation is because of the supply side issues which is completely wrong it has nothing to do with supply side right inflation is a pure monetary phenomena right it's increase in the supply of money and credit and when they create this money this currency out of thin air that is what is inflation so no matter what productivity rise is going to be there you know people are not going to benefit out of that it's just going to hide their shenanigans it's just going to hide this stealing done by rbi all right so this is what i wanted to tell you that you know as expected rbi has reduced the interest rates and crr and you know they are and you know, they are actually creating inflation and we are not going to see any respite in prices in future and the bubble is now prolonging it 
becoming bigger and bigger and in the end when it will pop when the bubble will burst it's going to result into a lot of problem for all of us you know especially for those people who are getting fooled by these policies so I, I really wish that uh, my viewers are at least not going to get fooled by these RBI's cheap you know money policies and they will continue to save and continue to purchase precious metal because precious metal is now very important if you're not purchasing so far I think you should be doing it now because RBI is not going to so stop inflating the currency they are going to continue to debase the currency the purchasing power of rupee will continue to decline and uh, as I said, we will see possible, you know, you know, kind of, you know, collapse of the monetary system in future, and and at that time, real money, gold and silver will come to safeguard your wealth and everything. So you should continue to accumulate regularly gold and silver. Don't get fooled by RBI's policies and just remain safe over there. All right. So thank you very much for watching today. I'll be back again with more news as they are coming up and, and I'll see you later on. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.